Hello, hello. O Cambly está com desconto super especial para quem quer fazer a aula grátis e depois fechar algum plano no Cambly. E é muito fácil, porque você só precisa ir aqui nas nossas show notes, na descrição do episódio, e clicar no link ou abrir o Cambly.com ou o aplicativo do Cambly e colocar o nosso cupom que é inglês NC tracinho VIP. É muito fácil e é um código exclusivo só para quem escuta aqui o inglês no Icru Rádio. E, gente, vale muito, muito a pena, porque, como vocês sabem, o Cambly está aqui prontinho para ajudar vocês na conversação. Então, não perca tempo e vá lá e aproveita essa super promoção. Now, on with the show! Hello, hello, hey, sweet people. Welcome to another episode of English no Kuru Haju. This week on the show, Alexia is suffering like the little cobaya that she is. So how are you doing today, Alexia? I'm doing great. I think I've been doing a pretty good job with this article. Um, but we still have to finish it. Yeah. So just one thing before we get started. Two things. First... We are reading an article that is talking about talking to yourself, which is a really interesting topic, at least for me. Secondly, Alexia, something that you do that I absolutely love, that I think a lot of our listeners could learn from, is after you read something or after you do anything good in English, you always say, huh. I did a pretty good job. Yeah. I mean, it is self-assurance, I think. Yeah. It's just realizing the fact that learning a new language, pronunciation, reading out loud, all of these things are really difficult, and you should be happy when you're trying. Damn right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, heck right. Or oh. darn right. <laughs> yes. How would you translate damn right? Yeah. Uh. I would say like con certeza, but no. with uh, something a little more forceful. Yeah. Um, it's not that, but it's like, é isso aí, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yeah. Can be a little bit sensitive in certain situations. Anyways, we are going to continue reading the article. I will give Alexia corrections. And if you have not listened to the last few episodes, we recommend starting with the first one. Yes. And if you would like to read with us, just go to our description, uh, to our show notes, and the link will be there. So I am ready. Can I start? Absolutely. Go for it. As always, read with emotion, enthusiasm. Give me your most passionate reading voice in English. Yet. Self talk enjoys certain adventure. Ah, vamos lá. <laughs> We talked about this in the last episode. I know. Whenever you are reading out loud, you are always going to mess up at the start. So just take a breath, start again. Don't worry about it. Yet, self talk enjoys certain advantages over inner speech, even in adults. First, silent inner. Meu Deus, I am struggling. One second, let me... You know, like, when you're turning on the machine and then it takes a little... Vroom, vroom, yeah, it vroom. takes a little bit to... Um, I'll just say that, too. I could say, like, to... Yeah, to warm up. Yeah, to warm up. So, again. Yet, self-talk enjoys certain advantages over inner speech, even in adults. First, silent inner speech often appears in a condensed and partial form. As Bernie Ho has shown, we often tend to speak to ourselves silently using single words and condensed sentences. Mm -hmm. Can I give you a quick recommendation? So first, Fernie Ho, that is the name of a psychiatrist or researcher, strange name. Secondly, the word condensed. Condensed. Yes. So you were saying condensed. This is a very common mistake that almost all Portuguese speakers make when they see a word that ends in ED. Automatically, your cute little Brazilian brain wants to think 
condensed. But normally, in English, with an ed, we simply add the t sound. So the correct pronunciation in this case is simply condensed. Condensed. Nice. Speaking out loud, by contrast, allows the retrieval of our thoughts in full, using rhythm and intonation that emphasize their pragmatic and argumentative meaning and encourages the creation of developed complex ideas. Ooh, good job. Yeah, retrieval, is that correct? Mm -hmm. okay. The retrieval. Yeah, I, I don't know why I thought because I think in my mind like retrieval, golden retriever, and then I was very confused yeah. about it. Yeah, I also made that association. Retrieval is not a very common word, but do you understand what it means? To retrieve? Yeah. Um, I think I do, but I'm not sure, to be honest. Most of the time we would say to get. Like I'm going to retrieve that item. That yeah. means you're getting it, you're picking I it up. May, I make a link with dogs when you retrieve, it's like to get something and to uh, to fetch, right? Like, yeah, to get something and bring it back. Yeah, that's what I understand. Yeah, but not super common. Do you have any other questions in terms of vocabulary, grammar, pronunciation? No, just uh, the word ritmo in English that I think that is going to be very hard for everyone. I remember that you correct me a hundred times. At um, least. At, at least. least. But I think that I did it correctly. Yeah, you okay. pronounced it great in this case. So rhythm. This is one of those words in English that the way we write it is absolutely crazy. So we write this word R-H-Y-T-H-M. Makes absolutely no sense. So just think of two things. Rhythm. 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 Perfect. Perfect. Rhythm of the night. Yeah. Oh, night. It's really difficult oh, when you have a word in Portuguese, ritmo. Yeah. <laughs> and then rhythm. Rhythm. Okay. So in this paragraph, I think the most interesting thing and something that I've never really thought about before, when you have thoughts in your head, they are probably quite condensed. Like they are not a complete idea. So, for example, if I'm thinking, mm, I'm angry at Alexia, and I just have a thought like, mm, Alexia. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> But if I actually say that thought out loud, it's probably like, I'm a little bit frustrated with Alexia because she ate the last cookie and I wanted the cookie. So, last night I was watching um, a guy talking about how to, to, not to win arguments, but how to make sense with arguments with someone else. Mm -hmm. So, he was saying like, don't, ever, for example, if I'm mad at you, I won't, I won't do like, I'm mad at you, Foster, because you are, you da 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 It's not that. You have to be angry at the situation and not at the person. Mm -hmm. So it's more or less what he's saying here. Like if you have bad thoughts or nice ideas, but it's all inside of your head, you are going to be very confused about what you want to say, what you want to think, which is the subject there. Mm -hmm. So when you say it out loud, it makes sense because it's the situation is the idea is the fact and not the person or not yeah. um, the place. Yeah, that's kind of a form of nonviolent communication. Yeah. Something that I've been working on a lot in therapy. <laughs> Anyways, are you ready to continue with the next paragraph? <laughs> yes. Okay. Not only does speech retrieve pre-existing pre ideas, it also creates new information in the retrieval process, just as the process of writing. Speaking out loud is inventive and creative. Each uttered... Uttered? Ut uttered? Mm -hmm. Okay. Speaking out loud is inventive and creative. Each uttered word and sentence doesn't just bring forth... An, an, exist, 
Ah, I'm I'm struggling here. Uh-huh. Doesn't just bring forth an existing thought. Yeah, too many THs here. A lot of THs. This okay. is why I chose this article. Okay. Speaking out loud is inventive and creative. Each uttered word and sentence doesn't just bring forth an existing thought, but also triggers new mental and linguist linguistic connections. In both cases, speech and writing the materiali ma materiality materiality yeah that's a crazy word you don't need to know that word the materiality of language undergoes a transformation to audible sounds or written signs which in turn produces a mental shift this transformation isn't just about the translation of thoughts into another set of signs rather It adds new information to the mental process and generates new mental cascades. That's why the best solution for creative blocks isn't to try to think in front of an empty page and simply wait for thoughts to arrive, but actually to continue to speak and write anything, trusting this generative process. Wow. Excellent job, Alexia. How do you feel about that one? Yeah, I mean, um, I was struggling a little bit, but after reading twice, I could make it. So sometimes just like you had to go back two steps to go back to go f forward one. Yeah. Take two steps back, back, one step forward. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you did an excellent job. And this article is full of vocabulary that you do not need to know actively for example materiality the materiality of language no one says that in normal everyday conversation i think we would just say you know the content of language or something like that so it's good when you're reading to understand okay this word exists i understand the context but i don't really need to actively use this word in conversation yeah cool So do you understand or do you agree with the idea that speaking or writing not only helps you clarify your ideas, but it really helps you generate your ideas? Yeah, I mean, why do people write on journals, for example? In journals. In journals. Or why do they have a to-do list? Or why do they have to organize ideas on paper or writing on your computer before doing stuff. Exactly. So, yeah, of course. Exactly. I hear a lot of people say that I write to think, mm -hmm. like people write in order to really understand what they think about a certain subject. And you can do the exact same thing with speaking to yourself. Mm -hmm. So if you have an idea and you're curious about it, talk about it with yourself and you'll probably generate new ideas and really understand what you think at the same time you are improving your english yes okay great job today alexia tomorrow we will finish this <laughs> incredibly difficult article do you have any questions no i don't i am already trying to read the next <laughs> paragraph so i can be ready for it okay we will talk to you guys tomorrow as always keep up the good fight And Luz well. Bye! Muito obrigada por ter escutado mais um episódio aqui do Inglês de Necro Rádio. É muito bom ter você juntinho assim de nós. Faz muito, muito carinho no nosso coração, digamos assim. Então você que está interessado em saber mais sobre os nossos produtos e saber mais sobre a gente, o que, que a gente oferece para vocês em relação a estudo, a challenge... A curso, vá lá no inglesnecro.com e você pode ver mais sobre as worksheets, por exemplo. Yeah. If you want to really improve your English, if you want to learn more about the ways you can do that and just connect with us on a deeper level, go to inglesnecro.com and as always, keep up the good fight and lose well. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.